but I'd like to welcome you all to our Walmart Alumni Night, um, where old students come and have a chance to share their experiences, what happens after they leave the Walder School in Cape Cod, what, what happened with their lives, and, um, and kind of tell a little bit of their story, and then to give uh, parents and others a chance to ask them questions about their experiences. And um, my name is Naomi Weeks, I'm class of 05. Um, I went to boarding school uh, in Weston, Massachusetts for high school, and now I'm currently a junior at Goucher College in Baltimore, and I'm studying story making. And so I think there's a lot of things that uh, get lost in other types of education that Waldorf um, is able to put into their education that I feel very, um, just like, well-rounded, and that I was able to really um, be nurtured and encouraged to be creative, um, which I continue throughout. throughout. <laughs> and I, I personally think, um, I wrote a paper about Waldorf education in high school, um, but I personally think that our generation is going to be dealing with a lot of difficult things that we're going to have to be creative in order to deal with them properly um, and have to really be more in touch with the earth and what's going on around us. Um, and I think that this type of education has prepared me to think that way. So. Uh, I'm Julian McLeod. I graduated in <coughs> one. Then I went to Sturgis, like a lot of us did, and um, I graduated from Northeastern University last year. Um, I'm currently working in the technical theater department at Suffolk University, and I also teach an elective at the Shady Hill School in Cambridge. The biggest way that Waldorf helped me was um, when I was little, I, before I came here, I didn't come to Waldorf until I was in third grade. Um, I went to a public school before I came here, and I was failing miserably, and they were gonna hold me back, and I didn't have any friends, and it was awful, <laughs> like, just the worst you could think of. And, um, and I came here, and it was just, like, the best thing that could have happened to me. I just flourished, and, sorry, I didn't think I could say that. <laughs> like, <laughs> I flourished here, and everyone supports you, and I feel like being here just made me so creative, and, um, I don't think <laughs> I've got a... <laughs> And she was just saying, you know, I, I have to tell him it's okay if you don't get everything done. And, um, and I don't ever remember being stressed out in grade school. And I don't think that kids should be stressed out in grade school. Um, there's plenty of time later on in life to, to do that. And I think growing up is, and just kind of like figuring out who you are and, and, and learning how to have friends is, is tough enough without all that other stuff that really doesn't matter in the end. Um, and, and I, uh, another thing for me that was really big about Waldorf, which um, is the friends I made. Um, when you go to school with the same people every day for eight years, <laughs> um, you really, like, there's really nothing they could do to surprise you or not become your friend anymore. And um, I've come away with the experience with um, four really, really close um, people that I just feel like I can depend on. And I don't know anybody else who really even is still in contact with people they went to middle school with. Um, so that, for me, was really important to me. Hi, my name is Victoria Stearns, and I also graduated in 04. And I went to high school at Thomas Academy, and I'm a senior and graduating from Denison University in Ohio, and a political science and art major. Um, definitely that kind of even though it, like, it was very nervous and intimidating to go to high school, you're like really excited to learn. And so at the same time, it was hard, but you were you had the energy. It wasn't like you had to do it. It was like you finally could do it. And so I feel the same way. When I went to Sturgis after being here, it was I was so excited to go to high school. And uh, it was just great. It was easy. And I think that because you go in as a freshman, obviously, 
I mean, they kind of start, you just start doing homework, and that's just kind of what has to be done, and it's not something that you think about. It's not like this big thing that you have to figure out how to do. It's just kind of like, okay, I'm going to take this home, and I'm going to do this, and I'll bring it back, and it's just what you do, and it's pretty simple, I think. It wasn't a big deal for me. I'm Ben Lieberman, also class of 04, also in service. <laughs> I am currently studying politics at Sarah Lawrence College down in Yonkers. Well, it prepared me extraordinarily. I tested as a freshman into junior level languages, both Latin and French. I remember sitting down at the French placement exam, and the idea was that you went until you found something you didn't know and then you handed it in, and they graded it both on what you got right and how far the test you got. And I eventually look around and the last person sitting in the room. <laughs> <laughs> and teacher eventually says, okay, hand it in. I want to get out of here. <laughs> um, I'm Patrick Temple, same class as these guys. Um, I also went to Sturges, and I'm a senior at Brown now studying computer engineering. It was really all the skills of learning things was, I got time from all of I'm Mara Gable, I was class of 09. I'm currently a junior at Sturges. I remember when I went into ninth grade, we had this entire workshop that lasted about three weeks, how to do a research paper. <coughs> and we got our instructions and I just thought, this is like writing a man lesson book entry <laughs> with a little bit of format and putting down the titles of the books you read. So everybody else was kind of freaking out about it, but I'd done it so many times before I didn't even have to think about it. I'm Zephyr Mays. I was class of 1993 at Emerson School in 1997 in Washington, Waldorf, and I'm currently an officer in the United States Coast Guard and I fly helicopters here in the Cape. And later on in college, I studied philosophy and got my degree in that, but I also studied a little bit of programming. And the, the logic and critical thinking skills I gained through Waldorf, I totally attributed to Waldorf, um, I was able to pick that stuff up very, very easily. So despite the fact that you may not see computers and a lot of technology in the classrooms, it has never impeded me in my ability to, to interact with technology. I, I probably could have finished up with a computer programming degree. And in the Coast Guard now I fly multi-million dollar helicopters. And a lot of that now is pushing buttons. So. I don't think it, the lack of technology is an, is an issue. Just addressing the math thing, I was actually better prepared in math than a lot of my classmates for high school, mm. and part of the reason for that was that I had eight kids in my eighth grade class. If we had a question, we had a teacher who had the time for us. Um, I'm, I feel like I was able to really build a relationship with my teachers. Um, that made them, that made me comfortable and confiding in them and made the relationship um, very mutual and not so much just like, I'm learning from you, but, you know, that we are both kind of learning from each other, I think, and, and when you're comfortable with the teacher it, it, the, and comfortable with your, the class, it becomes more like a family um, and you're not so worried about what are people going to think about me or you know, what if I do something wrong? And you're able to learn in a relaxed environment and therefore not afraid of making mistakes or taking risks. Um, and I think that, you know, if your daughter is, wants, is interested in whatever subject, it could be math, it could be, you know, music or art, the teachers, um, the teachers see that. They see that, you know, this kid, you know, is, is really interested in this and this kid's really interested in this and they, challenge and encourage it, I think, um, because they know you so well, and you don't, you don't get that anywhere else. So the human eye has a bunch of Are you just backing up? <laughs>